Hi, my name is Mbarek and I am a motion designer from Morocco. In this video tutorial, we are going to take a look at how I created this diversion path animation using only a few expressions and the drop code particular plugin. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So the way I have approached this animation is uh, I made this circle move in a sine wave pattern which means just moves up and down while controlling the frequency which is which is uh, how many times it can go up and down and the amplitude which is how far uh, the circle go up and down okay um, this might sound a little bit complicated at first but trust me it's not all that complicated it's literally uh, bananas so let's get started first of all we are going to create three slider controls the first little control we're gonna call it x and this is for animating this circle on the x-axis okay and i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and rename it to wave length so wavelength is basically the amplitude and finally uh, finally uh, the speed which is the frequency now if I go to my circle and press P on the keyboard and hold alt and click the stopwatch uh, we're gonna bring out this expression window in which we are going to write our expression so first of all we are going to declare some variables the first one is x we're gonna type in x equals the first sliders slider control value okay semicolon hit enter and type in amplitude equals the wavelength slider value and semicolon again enter frequency equals uh, the speed slider control value and semicolon again and finally the y value uh, it's literally where the magic happens so we can type in y equals uh, math dot, uh, dot sign parentheses uh, parentheses equal uh, sorry not equals but parentheses time times mat dot pi times uh, frequency and multiply all of that by the amplitude so basically this expression helps uh, or makes this circle move up and down in a sine wave pattern okay and finally we're gonna type in uh, square brackets x uh, comma y and this, the final expression is to help affect the returned values from this expression to our properties position values okay and now if I click outside the composition you're gonna see that I mean outside our expression uh, window you're gonna see that our circle is stuck here in the corner of uh, our composition and to fix that we're gonna add a little small expression we're gonna type in plus value and semicolon and now it's gonna be back to its original place good now if I hit play nothing happens because our uh, slider control values are at zero so I'm gonna change a few the wavelength value to 240 and the, uh, the speed to 1 and now if I play our our circle is moving up and down and if I change the speed to maybe 3 we're gonna have a quicker animation now that the first part is tackled we are going to attack the second part and for that is to create or to generate the trail and for that we are going to create a new solid I'm gonna call it particular particular uh, oh shit sorry particular and I hit ok and apply to it the particular effects alright and now what we are going to do is to basically link the emitter's position to our circle to our circle's position 
okay and to do that we are going to the uh, particular effects and select a mirror and go to position and pick whip it to our circles uh, position and now our emitter follows our circle and I'm just gonna change the speed of our wave to 1 so we don't have nothing crazy sweet nice now we are going to change some values in the emitter for example the particulars number we're gonna crank that up to 1000 and the velocity to 0 uh, velocity random to 0 as well distribution to zero and finally from velocity from motion we're gonna put in there four and if we go down to physics and air we are going to change as well this value we're gonna put in here wind x we're gonna put in in minus 600 and what it does it it pushes the particles by the way this is like a lot of particles I just made them like stuck in one line and now if I applied some wind we're gonna push them to the left and that gives us this great result and if you can see that we are generating a sine wave all right and we have here a little small problem for example if I uh, turn down the opacity a little bit a little bit to 40% we're gonna see that the emitter's position is is not stuck to our circles center okay and to fix that we are going to change the expression in the positions in the emitter's position so we're gonna change it to something like this so you can see this uh, value is for the z axis so we're gonna change that up to zero okay and we're gonna add a little expression like always called plus value and semicolon and now we're gonna select our particular effects and just try and adjust it, the emitter's position to our circles center and voila now the emitter is stuck to the position I mean to the center of our circle nice now we have the basic uh, rig the next thing that we are going to do is to basically just play with these values here for example the x position we're gonna change that to we're gonna take take our circle off the composition by just lowering this value here and now if i play it we're gonna have something like this and by the way if you want to avoid this kind of you know jagged uh, line all you have to do is to just easy ease the keyframes that's it that's the solution and voila we have our uh, animation and I forgot a little thing that we didn't change it is this position subframe we're gonna put in here 10x mode it, this helps to make the trail a, li a little bit a little bit more smooth smoother okay and yeah the, i think that's it uh maybe we could uh, you know animate the wavelength maybe i'm gonna put in here i'm gonna leave it at 240 and change it to zero at the beginning i'm gonna ease that out as well and we are going to have something like this I mean that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and uh, oh yeah I forgot to animate the uh, sorry I forgot to animate the speed as well for example if I change the speed from why does it do this anyway if I change the speed to uh, zero at the beginning we're gonna have something like this see really cool huh i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and um uh i guess that's it uh yeah i hope you find this video or this technique very useful 
and please share it with your friends and you know give it give this video a like subscribe and all that beautiful stuff see you guys in the next tutorial peace